I've pulled the ESC out of the RSX 380. Here's the ESC tray where it was mounted. I want to make some changes to this rigger to fit bigger lipos and to shorten the wires. Here is the length of the lipos I want to run. A pair of 4S lipos, 6200 milliamp hour. So this tray is in the way. I'm going to raise this tray and cut out these lipo mounts where I had the straps going around them. I'm just going to use foam to hold the lipos in place. If I raise this tray, I'll be able to run the lipos up underneath the ESC. The ESC is like this long. So I raise it up, the lipos can go underneath it, can fit all the way up to here, cut these trays out for the battery straps, set it right down on the floor, and then this height here will work out also. This is the best layout for shortest wiring, motor, ESC, LiPo. You look at the 33, the LiPo back here, then motor and ESC, that's where you end up with these longer leads to the ESC from the LiPo to the ESC. I'm not gonna change it on this 33. Not going to change the stuffing tube the motor mount, but if I were to build another one, I'd put the motor in the back, then the ESC lipos up front. I've got the battery hold down trays popped out of the boat. They were carbon fiber. Had carbon fiber standoffs in each corner. It's the only one that survived. That one popped off, the rest of them had to grind out the Dremel tool, sanded the floor, got one coat of thinned epoxy on there. I got the cross members cut out that held the tray for the electronic speed control. Got that all sanded up clean. One coating of thinned epoxy. Here's the new cross members made up. Go back in the boat. Got these sealed up, got the line nuts glued in place, I'm reusing the tray, just going to raise it up higher, so I got to get these epoxied in place now, cross members and then supports underneath. Got the new cross members epoxied in with the support pieces underneath. I have it set where I could put the largest battery I'd ever want to put in this boat underneath these cross members, 55 millimeters clearance. This upgrade is now complete. Got the QS8 connectors and I got my series harness just wired right in, coming straight out of the ESC. Got my ESC mounted, so the carbon fiber tray screwed down to the cross members. I also have it Velcroed on. I had to cut a little bit of foam out, the flotation on the inside of the cowling for clearance. Again, as it's raised up higher. I also have the wiring for the uh, telemetry for the volts and I have it on the series side so to read the combined voltage of both packs that's what I want to know when I stop to check my volts when I'm running but nice tidy setup I have pretty much a cave under there I can put whatever batteries I want and I'm going to lock it in there with foam a piece of foam no straps, sitting right down on the bottom. That's how you get your biggest lipos as far as milliamp hours in these riggers. Here are my HRB 
6,000 milliamp hour lipos. Use these to demonstrate how much room I have now. So these are 100 C discharge, 4S lipos. Physically, same exact dimensions as the lipos I want to get for this rigger. The SMC SRD lipos, 6,200 milliamp hour. So anybody else want to run bigger lipos in their RSX 380? I'll show you how much room I have now. 6,000 milliamp hour pair of 4S lipos run on 8S for adjusting center gravity. I'm all the way back against the bulkhead right in front of the um, boom tubes. And now I can just plug these in like this. I could also slide them all the way forward, put the foam block behind the lipos, plug them in like that. So these would lay on top of the lipos, the plugs, and plenty of room under the cowling, the fiberglass cowling, to have these laying on top of the um, lipos. Where you run into problems is the edges of the lipos, like when I had them on the battery tray, they hit right in here. So you can be above right here on the tub in the middle with your wires, but not out the edges with the height of your lipos. On this rigger, I also had way too much wiring. I had this um, series adapter in like this, had the ESC reversed, wires come out the back, and they were curled around and run to here. So I had long wires on the setup before. Now, that's it. Before I did these upgrades, 4,400 milliamp hours was the largest pair of 4S lipos I could fit in this tub. I think between the size of the lipos, the long wires, and the EC5 connectors, those were factors that limited my personal best saw run to 102 miles an hour with this RSX380. So these upgrades, we're going to be looking for a whole lot more next season. Let's get it. Full trigger. Coming in hot. <laughs> oh, yes. There it is. Woo. Triple digits, baby. I should send it right back out there. All right, let's get it. Full trigger. Wow, it sounded great. Hundred and two. All right. Firmly in the triple digit club. Back-to-back -back runs, 100 mile an hour plus. Yeah, baby.